Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you the process of uh, determining the intersection of two polygons. So for that, I have created this leaflet basic template. Here you can see I loaded the leaflet CSS and leaflet JS link and I am going to use uh, the torf.js. So I provide the CDN link to torf.js and I have loaded uh, three polygons inside data.js. So if you see the data.js file here, so I have three polygons, polygon one, and then their coordinate. Polygon two is the simple GeoJSON object and with their coordinate and polygon three with their coordinate, something like this. And then uh, after that, I initialize the map at this latitude and longitude with zoom level this and then I initialize the OSM layer which can be shown here and then if you check the data so if I uncomment this and then check the data here by right click open live preview uh, my polygons look like this so that means this one is my first polygon this one is my second polygon and this one is my third polygon so at first I want to check the intersection between these two polygons so for that i am going to use obviously the torf.js and in torf.js you have this intersect function so if you see the example here what it will do is it will first need the polygon polygon only the geometry not the geojson object and after that you just simply pass the torf.intersect poly1 and poly2 okay so but if you like console log here console log polygon one then our polygon one will be the not the not only the coordinate right so it's the actually the geojson object so we have to extract only the geometry because uh, it's shown in example there uh, in top example we have we need only the geometry of this polygon so so after getting this geometry coordinates only we can do the intersection things so for that uh, maybe i'll comment this out again and then show you how to do it do this uh, just cut it and here i'm going to use the same function as previous yarl.geojson and then i have to pass the polygon a geojson object and then a dot add to map to add it uh, to the map but this time i am going to uh, give some extra parameters and extra object with a function on each feature If you don't know how to deal with geojson object maybe you should check out my uh, video about the leaflet crash course 2021 or you can check also the uh, spatial advanced spatial analysis with torf.js so on each feature and it will take the function with feature and layer and then uh, here if i uh, let's let's let me create the variable called uh poly one and then if i type feature dot um, maybe <coughs> geometry and then it will give us the geometry so if i console log here maybe poly one okay you will see the exact uh, thing we needed so it's the exactly the polygon coordinate uh, just the geometry as shown in the example so we extract the polygon one similarly extract the polygon two as well so for that maybe i can apply the uh, yarl.geojson for polygon two polygon two over here uh, and then i'll also call the on each feature function and then it is the function we which will take the feature and layer is the parameters and variable to poly2 equal to feature dot geometry okay 
and if you type like console dot log maybe this time poly1 and poly2 let me remove this from here and if you save it so you will get the two polygons now so here are the poly1 and poly2 objects which are the uh, two different polygons so okay so after that uh, we got two polygons now we can apply this uh, torf dot intersect poly1 and poly2 function so okay let's apply it over here so maybe bar intersection equal to torf dot intersect and then you have to pass two polygon poly1 and poly2 okay so if you also check the uh, this intersection and you will get the other geojson i think this will be geojson for these two things poly1 and poly2 we extract the geometry only but the result from intersection will be the geojson object so this one is the geojson object so oh, now we can add this intersection uh, similarly uh, like we added here so for that l dot geojson sorry geojson and then we can add the intersection and then dot add to map okay so if you add it here now you will get the only the intersection part of the polygons so in this way you can get the intersection so let me show you uh, what if we have the uh, large number of large number of polygons and then uh, which we want to clip out uh, using our one polygon let me show you what i mean so let's suppose if you have this data let me comment out this not add anything let me show you this polygon 2 data so this polygon 2 data is here and actually i have the other data set uh, here uh, nepal district dot js so it's also the uh, geojson object but i assign it as the uh, nepal geojson data okay so so maybe i can edit here so uh, let me show you yarl dot geojson and then uh, nepal uh, i forgot the name maybe i'll copy this nepal geojson data and then dot add to map so if i save this so my data is look like this so uh, what if you want to uh, like clip this part only inside the polygon part of this districts so how how you can do i'll show you this this process so for that uh, you can apply the same intersection function so maybe here uh, in the polygon one you can pass the nepal geojson data so if you pass this uh, it will take the nepal geojson data and it will uh, automatically like it will iterate over each polygons and then it will take the poly one and then we will get the intersection is uh, the from the poly two so our intersection will be the uh, inside part of the uh, this nepal geojson data so let me show you what i mean so if i comment these two out now and then uh, uncomment this intersection part so i'll get the only the inner part so yeah uh, all right guys that's i think that's all about the intersection uh, of two polygons or multi polygons so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i'll see you in the next thank you for watching